mind and say, you go to football game, you pray, you, you'll uplift your voice to the team. You come to the house of God, but you'll want to pass the voice out. Well, oh. Well, okay. <laughs> huh? I love you. <laughs>
Amen. So tonight, we're going to look at some ways that he is of God. Amen. Tonight, and brother, I tell you tonight, God's ways is amazing. Amen. 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 God's ways ain't nothing like mine and your ways tonight. Amen. 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 So in this journey, we got to realize the hand, amen, that is leading us. Amen. And the hand that is guiding us and the hand uh, that is helping us when nobody else can. Amen. We find, amen, that number one, that God's ways is perfect tonight. Amen. Amen. They're not like mine and your ways. Amen. There's sometimes mine and your ways. Amen. The the best we try to plan, the best we try to look at. Amen. Things go haywire. But you know tonight, God's ways is perfect tonight. Amen. And if we're in His way and we're loving Him, amen, and we're walking with Him tonight, amen, tonight, they ain't nothing ever catches God off guard. Amen. He knows everything from beginning to the end. The Bible said tonight, and He even knows the very hairs of our our head was numbered tonight. Amen. He knows our beginning. He knows our ending. He knows what's going to happen in the middle. He knows what's awaiting on me tomorrow. Amen. Tonight, but besides all of that, God's ways are perfect tonight. Amen. Brother, I'm telling you tonight, I walk in a way uh, tonight, but there's sometimes uh, I don't understand. Amen. And there's sometimes and I'll look up to heaven uh, and I'll say, God, I don't know what you're doing uh, and why you're doing it, uh, but I'm going to trust in you anyway uh, because your ways uh, are perfect amen. tonight. Amen. So we realize amen that whenever we get on this journey amen, there's a lot of times a lot of things in life that I've tackled on my own. Amen. There's a lot of times that I got myself in the situations, amen, where I could not get myself out of them, amen. Listen tonight, but on this journey that we're talking about tonight, we are never alone, amen. When Jesus said, I'll never leave you, I'll never forsake you, but I'll go all the way, even to the end of the world. He meant every word of it tonight, amen. amen. Does that mean that a Christian ain't never going to have troubles? He ain't never going to have trials? No, amen. But it means that we got somebody, amen, that we got a friend that we can rely on in the middle of the night. Amen. You might try to get a hold of me sometime. Amen. And I might be gone. My phone might be out of service. Amen. There's a lot of things. I might be sick. I might be able to where I need to be all the time. But God ain't never like that. Amen. God can be everywhere all at the same time. Amen. Because He is God tonight. So we got to realize all this journey, amen, tonight, in this perfect plan that God has uh, for you and me tonight, He's always going to be there, amen, uh, and regardless of how low it gets, uh, and regardless of how deep we sink, uh, amen, tonight, Jesus uh, is going to be right there, amen, and do you understand everything about you all, amen, if you do, you're in trouble, amen, tonight, because the only one uh, that knows all about our all is this man called Jesus Christ Amen. to the world we're peculiar people. Amen. To the world. Amen. Tonight a lot of things that we do don't make much sense. Amen. Tonight but as long as it's pleasing unto God that's all that matters. <laughs> Amen. Tonight we need to have that friendship of God. We got to realize, amen, it ain't us a holding on to His hand. It's Him a holding on to our hand. Amen. Amen. Because if me and you're holding on, we can only hold on for so long. Amen. amen. And then we're going to lose grip. Amen. And we're going to slip away. But if God has His hand around us, amen, He is able to hold us indefinitely tonight. Amen. I believe Jude put it better than anybody. He said, that I, he said I've got one uh, that is going to present you faultless, amen, and one that is able to keep you uh, from falling. It's in the life uh, line that God wants you to walk because His ways are perfect tonight. Amen. Amen. His ways are perfect. His ways are not like man's ways. 
Amen. Tonight, Isaiah is seeing God's ways are higher than our ways. Amen. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Amen. Down here, we look at a little bitty picture. Amen. God has it all drawn Amen. out. Amen. 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 Tonight, He knows everything. And it's going to happen. Don't you realize that whenever He created the world, Amen, and He took His finger and He drawn out the blueprint of the world, Amen, He drawn a little old hill, Amen, that was called Calvary, Amen, tonight. And He knows right there that His Son would bleed and die and give his life that me and you might be able to have the friendship of Almighty God tonight. Listen tonight. Brother, God's ways are much higher than yes. our ways. His thoughts are much higher than <laughs> our thoughts. If I'd have been me, I'd have given up on me a long time ago. But I'm glad that God never gave up on me. Amen. Even though I stumble and I fall and some times my life's a wreck. He's still God. Amen. Amen. Tonight. And God is able to take that wreck and put it back together and use it for His glory Amen. and His honor and because He is God tonight. Amen. And sometimes God will let us walk through the deepest valley. Sometimes God will let us walk Amen. to where we feel like we're all alone. Amen tonight, but you know what it is? It's to show the world. Amen tonight that what we have in Jesus is real tonight. Amen. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, amen, tonight, and the king told them, said, we're going to throw you in the fire if you don't bow down and worship this idol. Amen, tonight, what did that little voice tell the king? Amen, said, we know that God is able to deliver us. Amen, but whether he does or whether he doesn't, we're not going to bow anyway. Amen, tonight, because he is the one uh, that we're trusting in tonight. See, they didn't even know understand why God was putting them through that trial. Amen. And you know why that God put them through that trial? And it might touch somebody's heart. Amen. Boy, I tell you what you can talk about Christianity. Amen. You can talk about being saved. I talk about living the life. Honey, but when you come through the fire and you come out on the other side shining brighter than what you was when you went in. That's where your testimony really keeps in the high gear and God gets the glory and the honor out of your life. Amen. His ways are higher than our ways. We can't understand this God that we serve. Amen. I can't understand why good, why bad things happen to good people. I can't understand tonight why Somebody that's a living for the Lord. Amen. Tonight has got to suffer some of the things that they suffer in this life. Amen. Tonight, but you know what? It ain't for me to know. Amen. 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 Tonight, God says, I've got this, and I got it in under control. Amen. When that thing happened to me and Eve several years ago, and we lost our son, my first thing was, why, God? Amen. Why? Amen. I preach every Sunday. Amen. I preach revivals. I preach every Wednesday night. I pastor churches down through the year. Amen. Tonight, I've left job after job. I move from state to state. Amen. And God, I try to be faithful. Lord, I try to be what you want me to be. And then something like this happens in life. I don't understand. Amen. And you know what the Lord let me know? He said, it ain't for you to understand. Amen. But I've got this thing. Amen. The only thing you need to do is trust and believe in me because there's coming a time we're going to a place where they ain't never going to be no more parting. Amen. Amen ever be no more sorrow. There'll never be no more pain. Hey, do you understand the things that God takes us through all the time? Absolutely not. But He is God and He knows what He's doing. Amen. Amen. If we just look up sometimes and say, Lord, I don't understand, but God, I will trust you anyway. Amen. 
Amen. Lord, I don't know why you got me in this situation, but Lord, I'm just going to let you do what you're going to do. Amen. And I'm just going to trust you. I'm just going to follow you. Amen. I'm just going to let your hand lead me. Amen. I'm going to let that light penetrate in my life. Amen. Tonight, God, I don't know why. Amen. Lord, maybe it ain't meant for me to know why. And people said, oh, when I get to hell, there's a thousand questions I want to ask you. Yeah, and when you get there, you'll forget every one of them. Amen. You'll just be glad that you made it. Amen. you just be glad, thank God, that God says, enter in. Well done, my good and my faithful child. Amen. Tonight, God's ways are so much higher than our ways. Amen. I'm going to just trust in Him. That's the reason Proverbs said. He said, lean not to your own understanding. But in everything, pray and seek God. Seek God's will. Amen for your life. Amen. Let God's light shine. That's what John meant. He said, when I must be Christ, so that he can increase. Amen. Amen. John was saying, I need to get John out of the way. Amen. Amen. To where they look at me, they can see the Lord. Amen. Tonight, boy, it was a lot of people back then. Amen. This evening in the Old Testament time. Amen. That walked by faith. Amen. Tonight, Abraham. Amen. He was headed to a country and didn't even know where he was going. Amen. And might I tell you tonight, we're on a journey and we're headed to a country and we don't even know where that country's at but we know that it's heaven amen somebody asked me the other day said where's heaven I said I have not the slightest idea but I'll tell you one thing it'll be heaven because Jesus is there amen and once we get there with him and surrounded with all the beauties of heaven we won't tear where it's at amen we'll just be glad that we're able to bow at his feet because his ways are higher. Amen. His thoughts are higher than our ways. Amen. Amen. Boy, I tell you, sometimes we're better off if we let God do the thinking for us. Amen. Amen. Uh, my thinker gets messed up sometimes. Amen. Amen. But God's thinker ain't never went wrong. Amen. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you, a lot of people say, well, I'm a thinking. You might be ready to get in trouble. <laughs> Amen. Tonight, listen tonight. Sometimes when we think, we lean to our own understanding. Amen. Amen. We define that God's ways ain't only perfect. Amen. And God's ways ain't only higher than our ways tonight. Amen. Tonight, but you know what? The sinner can't understand God's ways. Amen. Amen. Tonight to the sinner. Amen. Tonight we look like a bunch of crazy hillbillies or something. Amen. That is in here serving the Lord and shouting and crying. Amen. Tonight they don't understand that. Amen. When you tell the world, amen, about Jesus moving into your heart and moving into your life and changing everything about you, they can't comprehend amen. that. Amen. They can't even imagine in their life how a God that died on Calvary and rose out of the grave is coming back to earth and they enter into the heart of men and women and that he saves. Amen. And they're born again. They know something's weird about you, but they can't comprehend what God has really done for you. Amen. And you can't really explain. If you could really explain as you get to me after service. <laughs> Amen. And you tell me how God has loved me. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you what, I've been on this journey for 40 some years and I ain't figured it out. Amen. The only thing that I know beyond the shadow of a doubt is that He done it. Amen. Amen. There wasn't no doubt that He done it. Amen. Because Brother Eddie, I was there the night that he did it. Amen. Amen. I was there whenever he moved in. Lock, stock, and barrel. Amen. Amen. I had a preacher to tell me one time, said, Preacher, you can't preach hard like that. I said, everybody don't get saved the same way you do. I said, you mean there's another way of getting saved? Amen. I thought Jesus said, Amen, that there was only one way. Amen. It was through the door. Amen. Tonight, if we don't have a life-changing experience, uh, whenever God gets 
keeps a hold of us. There's something wrong, amen. And because he sort of changed our life in a positive note, I've seen God take somebody and it was on Skid Row. I see them lift them up, put a Bible in under their arm, and say, Go preach the gospel. And they ain't never looked back. And they're still preaching. You might say, Preacher, you believe that? Yeah, I'm one of them. Amen. And I'm glad tonight that God has never let me down. He's always been there. His ways have been perfect. And through the battles, His hand has always held on to mine. Amen. And sinners, boy, they'll run from it. But to God's people, it's a heaven realization that God is a living in them. And they're a living in Him. Just can't figure that out. Amen. They made it to the center. We done off our rock. <laughs> Somebody told me the other day, said, Preacher, you're dreaming. I said, Well, just let me dream on. Don't wake me up. Amen. 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 I'm having the time of my life. Amen. Amen. Just let me keep on dreaming. Amen. But sinners, they look at it. Amen. Tonight, listen, the world don't understand it. I believe First John said, Jesus told them, He said, The world hated me. And the world will hate you. Amen. This evening the world persecuted me. And the world's going to persecute you. Amen. Tonight Jesus said I suffered uh, many things in this life. And you being as children of God are going to suffer many things in this life. Amen. Tonight but then Jesus went ahead and he made a promise. Amen. He said if you suffer for me down here you're going to reign with me over there. Amen. Listen tonight brother I'm telling you tonight God's ways are past knowing. Amen. Amen. An old sinner thank God. Boy how they need to be saved. Amen. By the blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you, once they fall in love with Him, and God moves down into their heart and down into their life. Amen. Tonight, and boy, they look around and they see the brightness of the day, the greenness of the grass, and know that there's a brighter day to come, and knows regardless of what is after them in this life, ain't never going to catch them. Amen. Because they're protected by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Tonight, they've been blood bought, blood washed, and their names has been wrote down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you, I'm a citizen of the United States, but I'm also a citizen of heaven. Yeah. And my citizenship is a reigning on high with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Boy, I thank God every day of my life that Jesus has a firm grip on my hand. And it's a leading me uh, uh, to that way. Uh, I just stole for y'all. Thank you, Jesus. People can't understand. Don't let go. Amen. About God's ways. God's ways are everlasting. Amen. Amen. You know, whenever God created the Garden of Eden, He created everything perfect. Amen. Tonight, everything that He created, Amen. Since then, has been perfect. His plan of salvation, amen, has been perfect, amen. What's got it all messed up is people just tried to toy with it and they tried to fix something that wasn't broke, amen. amen. Because amen. God said this is the only salvation, amen, that you'll ever have. This is the only time that a lamb is going to be slain, amen, for the sins of man. And whenever Jesus died upon the cross, he died for everybody, amen. Peter said, and he tasted death for every man, amen, for every man, every Every sin or sin death has already been paid in full. And the only thing we have to do is to believe in Him. Amen. And come to Him and ask Him to be the Savior of our life because He has done already paid that sin death. I'm like an old guy said one time, I had a debt that I could not pay. And He paid a debt that He did not owe. Amen. Tonight that this old beggar might go through Free. What can a beggar give to a king? I'm not a thing. Amen. But I'm glad tonight the king supplied everything. Amen. Amen. That you and I might have the right to eternal life. Why shouldn't we love him and praise him for everything? Amen. 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 Amen.
that if we glory, glory in this, in the cross. Amen. Because that's the only thing worth glorying in. Amen. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you, people, they ain't deader than four o'clock. Amen. Tonight, some people just waiting to be dug a hole and somebody cover them up with dirt. Amen. Tonight, I don't want to be like that. I want to be alive. Amen. I was a loud mouth for the devil, and I want to be a loud mouth Amen. for God. Amen. Amen. But I might be able to glorify His name. Amen. His, His ways is everlasting. Amen. I believe Jeremiah said tonight, he said, I've loved you with an everlasting love. Amen. When Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, God didn't quit loving them. Amen. Brother David, when he put them on the outside of the garden, and he bought them from going back in the garden. He never stopped loving them. Amen. But brother, I'm telling you tonight, whenever a sinner comes and they raise their hand and they fail to come to the altar and they fail to get saved, God doesn't quit loving them. He still loves them. Because as long as the blood is running through our veins and our heart is a puppet, there's always an opportunity to make the wrong right uh, and to trust in the Lord uh, with our heart. Uh, amen. That's the only thing that God uh, wants us to do. He loves us uh, with an everlasting love. Amen. When you wake up in the morning and everything's went south, remember this one thing. God loves you. Amen. amen. When you amen. start your day out tomorrow, Amen. And the bottom falls out of everything. And everything hits you at one time. Remember this one time. God loves you. Amen. Amen. And His hand has got you. And as long as His hand has got you, I guarantee you, it's going to be all right. Amen. Amen. Listen tonight. Not only is His ways everlasting, but His ways is indestructible. Amen. The people's tried all through this generation to get rid of God. They tried in the Old Testament to get rid of God. They've tried everything in America, amen, to change the Word of God. There's a lot of churches right now, amen, that has taken the blood out of the song books, amen, taken the blood out of the Bible. Amen. Tonight they believe in everything except what they ought to believe in. And guess what? God's still around. Amen. And His salvation is the only thing that still saves old sinners. Amen. Amen. Church membership ain't, done, they ain't never done nothing for nobody. Amen. Amen. Tonight people asked me one time, I was pastoring a little old church. They said, well, preacher, what is that name over the church door helpful for? I said, well, it's helpful if somebody's mailing a package, amen, and to the church. They got the church name and the address. Amen. Tonight if somebody's looking for this particular church, amen, that they might come and join us, it's a helpful hint, amen, that they're in the right place. When they pull in the parking lot and they look up and the sign says what it's supposed to I said, but other than that, that name don't mean a whole lot. Amen. Tonight, it's what's on the inside that counts. Amen. And if Jesus is not living on the inside, we're as lost as a ball is in high weeds. Amen. And the world has tried to get rid of it. Our generation. Amen. Tonight, we've seen what? And the Ten Commandments come down off of the courthouse wall. We've seen prayer taken out of school. We've seen this and home, uh, uh, TV programs, uh, uh, taken off of the air and filled, put on uh, in its place. Uh, they've done everything uh, uh, to tear the religion uh, uh, down in this world. Uh, uh, but I got news for you. They ain't never going to get rid of God uh, uh, because He uh, was my here uh, before they were and He always will be. His ways are indestructible. You can't get rid of them. Regardless of how you live on this journey, when you come down to the end of the journey, He's still going to be God. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing going to change about that thing. Amen. Amen. Then last but not least, His ways 
are always true yeah. and faithful. Yeah. You know what? God ain't done. He God ain't never lied to you. Yeah. God ain't never lied. Every promise that He's ever made in the Word of God, Amen, is coming to pass. Amen. Tonight, He's kept His Word down through the years. He said, I'll be faithful to you. You be faithful to me and I'll be faithful to you. Amen. Tonight he made a covenant. Now you get this. I don't know how long this universe has been here. Don't really care. Amen. Because this ain't my home and I'm just passing for it. But can't you imagine? Amen. We go way back in the beginning of time. Amen. How that the first family when Adam and Eve was put out of the garden. Amen. And then the earth multiplied. And there was no one in his family. Amen. A preacher of righteousness that preached for over 125 years. Amen. And the only ones that entered into that ark was no one in his family. And God made a promise to Noah way back then. He said, Noah, he said, I'm going to make you a promise that I'll never destroy all the world again with water. Amen. Tonight, and he said to make a covenant. He said, I'm going to put a rainbow in the sky. Amen. Tonight, and boy, ain't it amazing how sometime, amen, we'll see that rain come down and then the sky get real pretty and bright and then all at once, that rainbow just begins to raise up. Amen. Tonight, God put there's, uh, put that there's a promise. Amen. And uh, not only to Noah and his generation, but Brother David to our generation. Amen. For we know that whenever we see that rainbow, amen, we remember Remember the promise, amen, amen, that God made to Noah whenever he entered into the ark. Whenever I see a cross, amen, I remember, thank God, that Jesus said upon that cross, there was going to be a lamb, amen, tonight. And that lamb was going to be slain for my sins and your sins, amen, tonight. And guess what? It happened, amen. Isaiah prophesied about it, amen, tonight. Malachi wrote about it. He said there'll be a voice crying in the wilderness. Amen. Tonight, and sure enough, here come John the Baptist. They cried in the wilderness, prepare ye of the way of the Lord. Amen. And boy, I'll tell you how the angels lit up the heavens that night. And he was born. Amen. Saying glory to God in the house. Peace and goodwill on earth to war all men. Ain't it amazing how an angel showed up and said, name him Jesus. Amen. Tonight all of these things happen because God said they would. Amen. It's true and faithful. He tells us in His Word that if we'll believe in Him, we can have eternal life. I found that down through the years to be so. Amen. And if we just believe in Him, I've told you this story many, many times about the night I was saved. I didn't even know how to pray. I didn't even know how to pray. But I did know the night that I was praying to you. And when I run to that altar and I fell down on my face, there was people gathered around me. I couldn't have told you five words. I was just there on that altar crying, Jesus. 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 Amen. That's the whole thing I understand. And guess what? Amen. It worked. Amen. It worked. Amen. Because there's not another name given by him under heaven whereby man can be saved. Amen. Except the name of Jesus. Amen. He said that if you believe in me, you'll have everlasting life. If you fail to believe and trust in me, as your Savior, then forever you will be in a lake of fire. He's true and He's just in everything that He does. Come on back, Pia. I hope and pray y'all got something out of this evening. I hope and pray that it was an uplift. And remember tonight, the long life's journey, Jesus is God's by the hand. Once God us, but no fear. Amen. <coughs>